That was hilarious. He, well, they might not have bothered him too much with it. You never know. Uh, yeah. Well, you never know. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, they like to stifle things. You know that. Of course they do. <laughs> Hi. Jeez, it's all dark. I witnessed a crime this morning committed in the county, and I'd like to make a statement to a deputy. Okay, grab the seat. Thanks. We're gonna run out. I should. I think I should. What's that? The crime was committed at Lee Motors. At Lee Motors. Okay. That's outside the city limits. Yep. Uh, there's the police department. I got a security question. Are all people going to get in there? You know, he looks really bad taking perks like that. He looks really bad. He probably would have kept that car forever. Oh. Hi. We're here to see the sheriffs. Okay. Yep. Hey, when's that report going to be ready? No answer. Is that okay? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. He's oh. there too. Say, as long as I'm waiting, can I get one of those free gun locks? Oh. Oh, could you get me a free gun lock when you got time? Thanks. Told me to sit on. <laughs> <laughs> I want a gun lock and told me to sit on. <laughs> I honestly just bought a gun last night, so I got six kids, you know. Thanks. I only got one gun. I might need need more soon, but. <laughs> that might not have been the right thing to say. They got a water fountain here. That's what I love about this place. I get so dry mouth and scared. <sighs> Last time I saw Wolverson, it didn't go well. Really? No. He didn't like me? No, he didn't like me. Here they come. possible to request Jason Peterson? I'd like to make my statement to Jason Peterson. Okay. Yeah, he's not working today? He's not working. No. Okay. I think, um, what's this about again? It's about a crime that was broke in the city, county limits. Okay. And uh, I, I don't want Troutman. Okay. Well, you're dealing with the, the city, correct? No, no. It, it was outside the city limits. I want to make a report about what I saw the crime being committed outside the city, lim city limits. Okay, where, yeah. where outside, what? Lee Motors. Okay, what about? Is this my guy? Here it is. Oh. Well, it's not Troutman, I'll take him, thanks. It's not, it's not Troutman, I'll, we'll take you. Okay. All right, I wouldn't, frankly, wouldn't want Wolverson either. All right, now, all right. And you're who? Brandon Chief. Okay. Okay. Brandon? Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. It's, it's nice to meet you. I want to be civil. What's your name? Terry might not be. You can tell him to shut up if you want. <laughs> Why would I tell Terry to shut up? I haven't said anything. So. <laughs> okay. What's your name? My name's Judd Hoff. Okay. The license plate of the vehicle was IT42699. It was a red Buick Sabre. I don't know the VIN number. It was driven by 
Bill Ingebretson. That license is for dealer in transit use only. You might want to look at the city's report once they make one. They responded. Bill Ingebretson was informed that he was breaking the law. He got in the vehicle and he drove it to Lee Motors. I watched him. Okay. I also have videotape of him sitting in the running vehicle at Lee Motors. He has also admitted that he was not using it for its intended licensure purposes. This is a slam dunk. Who's going to write the ticket? I don't know. That's a good <laughs> question. Okay, because he was your sheriff because, for, because for, for 16 years, I think. Okay. Did, did you work under him? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you are object, ob objective enough to look at the situation for what it is, which is a knowing, a person who's knowingly, at the point in time when, when the police responded, they informed him he was breaking the law. I then witnessed him continue to knowingly break the law, okay? okay? He gave the excuse to the city police that he did not know that that was the license on the car. They informed him that it was. I watched it. Okay. It was a traveler's inn. At the traveler's inn. Yes, that's where he admitted that he knew that it was illegal. Okay. He got in the vehicle and he drove to Lee Motors, which is your neighborhood. Okay. You actually saw him driving in the city of Alexandria, though? Yes. That's a city. Issue. Yes, but I saw him driving outside the city, too. Yes, he, he was in the parking lot, the vehicle was running, and he was behind the wheel, yeah. which means he's operating it. Where? In the parking lot of Lee Motors. Okay, I didn't know where you were talking okay. about, John. Which so, is a good couple stones throws outside city limits, last time I checked. You're good, yep. So what you, act, what you saw at Lee Motors, Judd, is you saw uh, Bill Ingebrigtsen, you saw him actually operating the vehicle? Yes. He put it in park. He saw him drive away from travelers. Yeah, I saw him drive away from travelers, and I saw him in the vehicle with it running. And you can appreciate and understand that the, the travelers is in the city. Yes. Right? Yes. And if you wanted to address anything with that, you, you have to address that with the city I have. department, correct? Oh, yes, I have. Okay. But you, you have enough of a statement here, and I will offer you the video evidence okay. that shows him sitting behind the wheel of the car that's running. But it doesn't show him driving. But you know that he. You, I'm just asking you. I witnessed him driving it. I witnessed him driving it. But I'm asking you about yes. the video. That's all. Yeah, and I saw him go over the interstate and drive well, in there. He's not saying anything about what's on the video. I'm just. Yeah, asking. I'm just telling you the video says I can personally attest okay. that he was driving it all the way there because I followed him. Okay. Okay. So, so you can put that in there. Um. So you saw Bill, I'm just asking about the video part too, yes. and then I'll, you know, obviously we'll ask you about the... Yes. I didn't want to videotape while I was driving, that wouldn't have been safe. Okay. You know. Sure. Uh, but you, what you have on video is you have Bill Ingebrigtsen in the vehicle, the yes. motor's running. I don't think he'd deny it. I'm, I'm just yeah. asking you, I haven't talked to him, Judd. He said he never lies. So I'm sure that if you want to ask him, he'll probably be good on his word and not lie about it. But if he does lie... I witnessed him drive it outside the city limits. Not to sit there with it, put it in park. I watched him drive there. Okay. Um, kind of hard to teleport it there anyhow. So. Yeah, it'd be pretty hard in the time span he had to find another driver anyway, but I saw him. And, and most notably, you can see him put it in park on the video. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe the glare on the window won't, but... Yeah, but, but you're not he, speaking what's on the video. No, it doesn't you're matter. just saying what you know. He won't deny it anyway. I'm Michael Anderson. I called him to meet with a sheriff's deputy at 12.30. Um, no, I thought to get out. I'll take care of that when I'm done. I'll just sit out here and wait for you. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Did you witness anything, Terry? I'm just a witness to make sure that no one harasses him while he's here making his statement. 
Okay, so you, I mean, why the heck would I harass the guy, Terry? Well, well we've already been harassed at the city attorney's office, and I was well, insulted at the county attorney's office, so you've been the nicest person I've, so far. So I also have been. You. No problem. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty nice. I, I've been one time, I get this, this is what I get, is that whenever I call the city police, mm -hmm. they say, well, we don't issue citations. It's up to the city attorney. Okay, they are just lateral, laterally foisting any responsibility as a law enforcement officer for, you know, when they respond to crimes. That's what I get, okay. I'm a little frustrated with it because one time my life was threatened. Someone threatened to shoot me. Okay. They didn't do a damn thing about it and I'm mad. Okay. All right. Um, what is your middle name, Judd? Bradford. Judd's two Ds. Got that. Bradford. B-R-A-D-F-O-R-D. Just like it sounds, yeah. Gotcha. Hoff, H-O-F-F. -F. Your date of birth, Judd? 11 -1670. And what is your home address, please? It is 658 South Maple Lake Road, S-E, Glenwood, Minnesota, 56334. Now, what I find most interesting is that he knew that it was illegal. And then he, he got in this vehicle and used it against its licensure purposes okay. and drove it into your county. Because this is separate. This is a separate report. He knowingly, intelligently, and willingly broke the law the second time. And I probably wouldn't be pursuing it, but I don't like the way I've been treated. And he's an elected official, and he should not be there. Everybody's acting like he, you know, should get, get it, uh, you know, they should take it easy on him. But you know what? He's, he should be above reproach. You know, because if I got behind the wheel of a vehicle that was improperly licensed and I drove it, it I, I would not get the soft soap. And I don't get the soft soap. And neither does Terry. No. And, but every time the ball's in the other court, there's some elitist conspiracy going on. And Brandon, I hope that you remember the oath you took to uphold the law and that justice is equal for everyone. Wasn't that in your oath? Absolutely. Okay, I hope you take it seriously. Absolutely, I do. Brandon Definitely. Chaffins. Yeah. Yep. And I apologize for this camera, but I really feel like I need to duly document this because, like I say, nobody wants to do anything about it. He needs to protect his rights. What, uh, what's your home phone number, John? It is 320-762-1117. 1117? Yep. Do you have a cell phone? Yes, it's 320-334-1581. Okay. Okay. I'd prefer you left a message on the landline. And um, the next step then, is that, does that address your complaint, Judd? Yes, it does. Okay. And I'm guessing you're wondering what my next step is. Yes, it is. All right. Obviously, my next step will be to speak with Bill, okay, and, and get his uh, side of things. That's only fair, correct? Yes. Okay. Are you going to speak to Lee Motors then? Because they're the one who yeah. sent him off in the vehicle and they knew it. That should be sent out. Yeah, I think that's uh, certainly a good step. Because uh, I think if they're letting cars that are not supposed to be on the road being on the road, then I think they should be reported as I mean, you know, th these are, they're using the public roads. Okay, th these licenses, uh, a lot of dealers abuse them, and, and, it get, and they get away with it. But, but this time what we have here is really negligent and gross violation of it. Okay. I mean, they get, my understanding is they get three licenses that are dealers' licenses, and they can use them any way they want. If they want to loan it to someone who's having their car fixed, like Bill said, they can do that. But this was an in-transit okay. plate, okay? okay? And Bill, Bill admitted to me that he was using it for government and personal use. He was not driving it to a customer. He was not working for Lee Motors. He was not driving it to an auction. And he was not driving it to another dealer. And, and if he's using it for any purpose other than that, it's illegal. Were you there the night that Amherst's son got pulled over? 